Hey everyone, today we're showing you how to set up a custom subdomain for your AWS website. So for the first step, go ahead and upload your website to AWS Amplify. And if you haven't done so, I'll include a link in the description to my other videos showing you exactly how to do that. But once you've completed all those steps, you just see a screen very similar to this. And then on the left hand side of the screen, go ahead and click on domain management. And here in the top right, go ahead and click add domain. And once you get to the screen, go ahead and type in your domain and click on configure domain. Go ahead and click on exclude root for right now and go ahead and type in your subdomain in this first box and click on save. And now once you click on save, you see a screen very similar to this. And so uh, in this step, it's just like going through SSL creation. So you just have to wait about five to 10 minutes for this step to complete. And we'll resume the video once it's done. So once the SSL creation step is done, you're gonna see a screen very similar to this. It's gonna say uh, that they valid the CNAME record and now they need to verify ownership of the domain. So in order to do that, go ahead and just click on Actions tab up here, click on View DNS Records. And here we're gonna basically copy these settings into your DNS settings of your domain provider. And so in this example, we're using Google Domain. So go ahead and go to your domain provider, go to DNS settings and scroll down until you get to a section of the DNS similar to this. And here, go ahead and just copy this first line, uh, this first yeah section into the first box here, switch to C name, and copy this last section into the domain name here, and go ahead and click add. I already have mine here because I did it in a previous step. And then after you've done that first step, go ahead and copy uh, this subdomain section to the first part here, and then go ahead and copy the second part and go ahead and fill into this last box and make sure this is also says seed name and go ahead and click on add and once you've added it you should see it down here and now if we go back to AWS uh, in about I would say like 10 minutes um, it should go to the next step which is domain activation and I'll resume the video once it's done. So after waiting about 15 minutes, this is the screen I see now after refreshing the page. You should see your subdomain that you set up here. And if you go to it, you should now see the website you've uploaded. And you can see that the subdomain is the one that you've uh, configured. And so that's pretty much all the steps uh, there are to setting up a custom subdomain on your AWS website. If you found this video helpful in any way, please like the video and don't forget to subscribe.